equal parts. What do you enjoy eating the most, pizza or pie? Eat some pizza and then have a piece of pie for dessert. What is the shape of the pizza and pie in the pictures? You are correct if you said circle. Circles, just like the pizza and pie, are round shaped and can be cut into equal parts or shares. If you and a friend wanted to eat a whole pizza together, you would probably want to eat the same amount of pizza. How would you cut the pizza or pie? Notice how they are now cut in half. A half means there are two equal parts. Each of the circles has two halves. There could be a top half, side half, bottom half, right half, or left half. All of the circles have been cut into halves, or two equal parts. Each color is half of a circle. A rectangle has four sides, just like a computer screen or the top of a table. It can also be cut in half, meaning there would be two equal parts. Rectangles of different sizes can be cut into halves too. Each color is half of a rectangle. Each half is the same size. Circles and rectangles can also be cut into other equal parts. They can be cut into three parts called thirds, or four parts called fourths or quarters. Here are some circles and rectangles cut into thirds. The circles and rectangles are cut into thirds. One third of each circle and rectangle is a different color. You can also cut a pizza into thirds. You can now eat a third of the pizza. A fourth of each circle and rectangle is a different color. You can also cut the pizza into quarters or fourths to make four equal parts. Circles and rectangles can also be cut into fourths or quarters. Fourths and quarters are used when cutting the circles and rectangles into four equal parts. Remember, two halves, three thirds, and four fourths, each equal one whole. It could be one whole circle, one whole rectangle, or even one whole pizza or pie. Cutting or splitting circles and rectangles into equal parts is not difficult. Think of sharing a pizza or pie with friends and each of you want to eat the same amount.